What we have learned uh, from research is that the foundations of health in adulthood are built in childhood. So the experiences that children have in the early years of life shape their risk of virtually every chronic disease and patterns of health behavior later in life. So there's research that shows you can predict whether a child will have heart disease in the, in the 50s or hypertension linked to did they experience delayed growth while they were in their mother's womb and what were the experiences they had early in childhood. So that early childhood then is a period uh, for the building blocks of good health and investing to ensure that every child can become everything that they could be in terms of their well-being, it will not only help their success in school, which it will, their school readiness, their academic success in school, but it literally puts them on a pathway of better physical and mental health for the rest of their life. So what research is indicating is that all the experiences, the social experience we have, get under the skin and become a part of who we are. And that there has been recognition that stress in childhood matters. There is recognition that stress during a mother's pregnancy matters. There's a body of research now on what is called preconception stress. Stress that occurs in the life of a woman before she became pregnant. That is associated with poorer birth outcomes. That is associated with more health problems during early childhood. So, so we are really broadening our understanding of the ways in which stress affects health. Um, so there are lots of experiences of life that shape health. The good news is we've also learned something that we call um, the plasticity of the brain. And by plasticity, we refer to the fact that even when a negative experience happens and there are measurable physiological, biological consequences, some of these effects can be reversed. If we can provide support and stimulation for that child, the key is the sooner we start and the more intense we provide resources, um, the greater is our impact in reversing the negative effects. Some of the things that are needed are things that parents can be taught. And one of the things we need to do is, um, I'm sure in, in Brazil, like in most other countries, uh, before someone is allowed to drive, they need to pass the test. They need to get a driver's license. They need to learn something about driving. Um, we, I'm not saying we need to have tests for parents to take before they can become parent, parents, but we need to think of how we could provide the resources and knowledge and skills that parents need so they can become effective parents. Every parent would like to do the best for their child, but not all parents have the knowledge and skills of what they need to do to provide the optimal environment for their child. We should not wait until the child is born to begin. There's overwhelming scientific evidence that programs that begin with home visiting when a woman is pregnant, there are programs that have used um, community health workers who are persons without formal medical or nursing training um, that have shown positive effects. There are programs that have used nurses that have shown positive effects. So one of the issues is, is to provide the mother and father um, for their role and responsibilities as a parent helping them not just in terms of the, the medical and clinical aspects of pregnancy and how they need to take care of themselves and good nutrition and exercise and so on, but also preparing them for life and thinking of life after the baby and how they can be uh, an optimal a parent that does the best. We need to expand beyond parents and think of what are we doing. Um, there's an old African proverb, it takes a village to raise a child. So we need to think of what are we doing for the community? How, how can we prepare communities? And I'm talking about every organization within the community. How can we prepare churches? How can we prepare schools? How can we prepare employers? Employers have policies. Government can have 
policies that provides time off for parents that leads to better childhood development. So I think we need to just think broadly at, at every level of society. What can we do to make our communities places where every child can flourish and every child can become the best that they can be? If we do that, we reduce crime in the future, we reduce the health costs in the future, we ensure more productive research uh, workers in the future, we provide a more competitive nation that is able to compete on the global stage. So there are benefits for all of us in society if we can take care of children early in life.